Hello beautiful soul. Welcome back on my YouTube channel. Thank you for watching. And today I want to talk about uh, well, the limbic brain actually and the fatigue reaction. And you know we've all said that people with chronic fatigue syndrome they might have the experience that they feel as if they run a marathon. But they didn't. So that's a very interesting phenomenon because a marathon runner has the, uh, every, every marathon the, the so-called experience of running against the wall and the wall is some sort of fatigue it's not real fatigue but you know it serves as a danger mechanism if you continue this path you will exhaust yourself and you won't have enough energy to uh, to recover anymore so that's the danger signal for a marathon runner but you know a marathon runner knows what he's doing he's trained and he knows that he can do a little bit more so he doesn't have to give in to this safety signal but um people with chronic fatigue syndrome have the exact same fatigue response that is interesting as well so the fatigue of chronic fatigue syndrome might not be exhaustion and i'm talking about the fatigue in the crash period i think after you know like going through everything and all the ups and downs i think in the end you will get completely exhausted also partly due to the uh, to the fight or flight mechanism of the nervous system but imagine if the fatigue is a warning signal that there is a danger and this is where we arrive at the limbic brain and I mean, if we should talk about just the limbic brain on its own, where the emotions are, I think that will be a very long video, and I'm probably not the very best in explaining all the parts of the limbic brain. But the limbic brain handles fear. And a danger is a fear, so it's responding towards a fear. And a fear is always because of a belief system. Um, yes and I, pro I think probably with chronic fatigue syndrome in the beginning you just fatigued and probably because some emotions came up uh, like Dr. Sono said like uh, the pain and chronic pain uh, patients were there as a distraction or maybe as a protection for the emotion and I think the same thing might have happened with chronic fatigue syndrome you know, after we've buried so much, so many emotions in our body, finally things come up, and because of our belief system, it's we are, uh, you know, we, we have the belief system that these emotions are dangerous, like anger, for example, because uh, we believe it's not good to have them. So the brain protects us, the limbic brain, from these upcoming emotions. to protect us and that's a very different way of looking to things and in the end I think that um, this is not the only case anymore because we've programmed ourselves to somehow believe that activity is dangerous and neuroplasticity is also a factor here you we have wired in this case the limbic brain to do this fear response this danger response because of activities and we start to do less and less and less more rest more rest and in the end everything is is dangerous because th the muscles are not used to doing anything anymore so therefore i'd like to tackle that with pacing just go slowly every day a little bit more or just every day the same gradually building yourself up but in order to deal with the danger belief system and the danger rewiring in the brain it might just be enough to use affirmations that it is safe you are safe it is safe to express emotions and if the danger response comes from fear and the opposite of fear would be love probably but love is very vague and most people um, think about love in a fearful kind of way so 
to redefine the word love, I think we should call it different things like allowing and also safety and trust. And maybe those are the three things that you need the most right now. And you can implement those new belief systems in your subconscious mind via hypnosis, via a hypnotherapist or self-hypnosis. You can record a recording on your phone and listen to it when you're really calm in bed before you go sleeping saying things like I am safe activity is safe I am able to walk I am able to do all kinds of activities feeling my emotions is okay I am allowed to feel negative emotions anger is actually good for me because it's a it's a boundary and I will soon make um, some more self-hypnosis uh, sessions uh, on my YouTube channel and also for my website because something very excited uh, I'm doing I'm working on since like two months now is I'm working on a recovery program that you can enter for free if you are short of money so that's pretty exciting and all these kind of things will be also be in the recovery program and when you're watching this in the future it might already be available so check out my website and in the meantime i wish you guys to imagine the safest feeling of trust that you had before you i say before you connected with this body and this mind a feeling of letting go a feeling of trust primal trust that you come to this planet experience this dense world but you know that whatever is going to happen you will be okay all right so happy healing thanks for watching bye